Hi. Uh, here's another problem about the pigeonhole principle. How many black playing cards must be drawn from a single deck of cards to be sure at least eight are spades or at least eight are clubs? Uh, at first, the pigeonhole principle might be confusing. And it could be confusing. It is actually confusing if you don't know uh, how it works. I know the start is pigeons and holes, but the main thing is you need to know in the problem uh, what will be representing the pigeons and what will be representing the holes. And there's another restriction which is I called K in the formula. Let me get you started. So this is a problem. How many black playing cards must be drawn from a single deck of cards? So we're not considering any reds. You might start thinking that we have 52 cards, but that's not true. Just the black cards. So 13 and 13, 26. We need to get at least eight speeds, eight of this or eight of this. The principle is so clear. But as I said, applying it sometimes to different problems with different concepts makes it a little bit lengthy or confusing. If you look at the graph before I start reading, I do have three by three, which is nine spots, nine holes. But the uh, number of pigeons are one more. This right here has two in it. Here there are n, which is 10 pigeons and m equals nine holes. Since 10 is greater than 9, the pigeonhole principle says that at least one hole has more than one pigeon. The top left hole has two pigeons. Uh, the wording is so clear. This is that says that at least one hole has more than. So you're guaranteed to have at least one. Of course, if you if three will come here, that's even better. But you will be forced to have at least two. That's the problem. And that's the formula. We know what's M, what's N from the previous. M is the number of holes. K is the restriction or the number that we are seeking. At least eight spades or at least eight clubs those are the spades and those are the clubs so k is eight it's so simple once i finish i'm going to do it practically by hand i'll show you how so we're looking at how many pigeons how many cards playing black playing cards that should satisfy this condition we already have two holes, that's M. So M is holes, which is either this hole or this hole. This hole will be filled with at least eight, or this hole will be filled with at least eight. So M is two. Now K, as I mentioned, is eight. And the reason we subtract one is to avoid having it to see when we reach out our limit and we will be forced to reach what we want which is eight so eight minus one is seven we're gonna put seven in each hole two times seven then we're gonna add one more to make it eight two times seven is fourteen plus one is 15 and you need to take 15 cards so that's the formula and that's the answer there must be 15 playing cards black playing cards to be clear drawn from a single deck of cards we're not playing or not uh, drawing any red cards so the game is clear that we are just playing with black playing cards to ensure 
there are at least eight spades or eight clubs. In a few seconds, I'm gonna switch to the uh, other camera to show you how I'm gonna do it by hand. Here we go. Okay, as you could see, I do have clubs and spades. K is eight that we need to reach. The reason why I'm subtracting from eight one is to have the seven to play the game right. We know that M is two, that's the number of holes that will be filled with cards. And I separated the cards into two sets as clubs and spades. Okay, it doesn't matter the names if you're not familiar with the names, but here we go. So let's go with the clubs first. To go with the clubs, I'm gonna count seven. It doesn't have to be like in order as you could see. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm trying to avoid eight to guarantee, to ensure that we're gonna have eight, trying to avoid it. So the max is seven. Same thing here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is seven times two. That is seven times two. One less than eight, seven is considered. And after that, I need one more to force it to end up with eight. Either one from here or one from here. As you could see, I have seven and seven. That's 14 plus one, either one, doesn't matter which color, which uh, uh, suit is it spades or clubs, will force you to have at least eight from the clubs or the spades. I think that should do it. It's so clear. Once you identify the two holes and the number k that you are seeking, take it down by one, multiply it by the number of holes times m, then add one more. That should do it. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.